Hey everybody, Lexenda Swirl here. All right, we previously did what was for me a brand new uh, tumbler technique called hatching or hatches. It stands for um, <laughs> half of cross hatching. And that is a bunch of parallel lines and then a bunch of perpendicular lines. It's used in drawing to show shading. Um, so one direction, parallel lines, is referred to as hatching. Uh, and when I did it the last time, I will link to my video below where I tried it for the first time. Squasi-ish, okay. And I will also link to the video where the inspiration for this idea came from. A tumbler maker who is extremely good at hatching and makes it look so simple. Uh, the one thing I realized afterwards that I did wrong or didn't do was I was so busy trying to whoops I, God, I was so busy trying to dip my tool and I don't have it here into the resin the colored resin and then putting a thin line on that I didn't actually do any hatching I was just putting thin line on and letting it spin and thin line on something else and letting it spin but hatching actually refers to taking the color and putting a bunch of parallel lines and I wasn't doing that. I was just doing one at a time. So I'm gonna try and do a better job of it this time. Uh, this is gonna be relatively ambitious and I, I'm a little nervous about that because of the ambitiousness of it, which means it's gonna take me 10 times longer probably than I'm anticipating, <laughs> which is already a long time. But I wanna see if I can do it. This is a new style of tumbler, new to me, style of tumbler and when I saw these on uh, the Stainless Steel Depots or the, the Stainless Depots website, I thought, oh, those look so cool. I wanna do something with that. They are called the Hog 20 ounce twist tumblers and that's because they're twisted in the middle and that's what I'm going to concentrate on. So maybe this won't take so long. I am going to put clear resin and the only thing that will be in the clear resin is my ever-present rainbow marabou alcohol ink, which just adds some sparkle. So that's what I'm gonna put on the cup. And then I'm gonna mix up these seven things in seven little cups with the remaining resin. And into one of them, I will put uh, marabou's glitter in gold, bronze, and green. I'm going for a Christmas theme here in case you can't assess that from the colors. Uh, the Glitter Guys Ruby Slippers. This is a metallic. Island Micas and More Chrome Red and Chrome Light Green. And also Treasure Gold Mica. Uh, this is Galileo Green Ultrafine Holograph Holographic. Oh my god. Ultrafine Holographic from BulkGlitters.com. And the last one will be my Twinkle Additive, which is an ultra super, an ultra super whoopee fine additive that's uh, basically silver holographic. So that will be number seven. I'm gonna mix up 30 milliliters of resin. That doesn't seem like much given all of this, but I should only need about 15 on here because I'm only going to do, well, I'm gonna do resin on the entire cup. I'm only going to do the cross or the hatchings within this twisted area. And I'm gonna try and go with the twists. We'll see how I do. Uh, so I don't need much of any of these colors, just a very little amount. And let me get out my tool so I'm not scrambling for it at the last second. All right, this comes in all together. These, both these sets came together from Amazon. And the tool I will be using, or using again, is this one, which is a diagonal chisel point, basically. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so the, th the theory is the chisel point dips into the colored resin, one of these, and then I cross hatch, or I, <laughs> I hatch uh, parallel lines in that color as it's going around. Um, and I'm going to try, hopefully, to avoid it putting colors here, that doesn't mean they won't migrate as it continues to turn overnight because resin moves. It's what it does, among other things. So um, I'm gonna gear up, fast forward through this, but I wanted to explain what I'm gonna do before I start doing it and then just enjoy the show. Thanks, 
Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, so this did not go the way I'd hoped. I don't dislike it. Let me move this out of the way. I don't dislike it at all. I think it's beautiful. And I think uh, with a Christmas graphic, maybe one that goes all the way around, uh, maybe even like some sort of saying up here with lights that go around and then just lights, Christmas lights that go around here. And I don't mean real lights, I mean just graphics. I'm not, 
I'm not going to try and turn this into one of those actual light up cups. That's that's not what I'm going for here. But I had I still had trouble with the, the hatches. I so I was either it felt like I was either going too diagonal and missing this twist altogether, or when I tried to straighten it out, I literally went too straight and I don't know, it just sort of all blended together. I think I had too much epoxy on here. And also, truth be told, even though I thought this would be a really super cool look with the metal background, I think uh, I think if I used white in my epoxy, very, very little epoxy, which is part of what you're supposed to do with this technique, is just use a very thin layer of epoxy so that there's not a whole bunch of room for movement because I lost the definition in all my hatches, all my lines, because there was uh, enough clear epoxy on here that it just sort of floated around in the epoxy and the, the straight lines got blurred in essence. So I love how this looks, but it is not what I was going for. I think I will try it again at some point, not in this video, with uh, white or just any color. It could be black too. That would be stunning, I think. Um, and I will use much less in my layer of epoxy for the base and then um, I'll try to do a better job with the, the twists. I'm not sure if it was the the speed at which it was turning encouraged me to go more more diagonal and and I just I couldn't seem to get right in the groove even though the grooves are actually pretty obvious in this. There we have it for now anyway. Has anybody tried this hatches thing this hatching hatching and cross hatching? Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, if anybody has any tips for me, suggestions, I like it. Um, so far, I have not really gotten what I've been hoping to get. Again, I will link below to my last attempt, which was on black, and to the video where I first saw somebody do this, and they, they get an amazing effect. So clearly, I have a lot of practicing left to do. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.